welcome back in this lecture we'll talk about nice and renice commands so mostly we use renice command so what is renice renice alters priority of the running processes and nice command it launches a process with a user defined scheduling priority which means here what we can do we can give importance to a process so whenever there are like for example 100 processor running on your machine and all these 100 processes will be treated equally inside this linux operating system so it is going to provide equal amount of ram and equal amount of cpu and equal amount of memory will be provided in order to finish its execution so now we have a requirement out of 100 process there is a process number 98 that is executing a command. So instead of executing in a normal mode, I want to tell OS to give some importance to this particular command called 98. Then OS will give some importance and give some more RAM and memory to that process. I want to tell to OS to give some importance to this particular process number 98 and then OS will give some importance and give some more ram and memory to this process but how to find the value of this specific command and we can know that value with the help of nice value so for every process there will be a nice value so mostly all the process will have the value as a zero if you want to give high priority then you can give as minus 1 to minus 19. So in between this minus 1 or minus 5 or minus 10, then it is more higher value. For example, if you give minus 10 for a process number 98, then it is more high priority. If I give minus 19 priority, then it will be more higher priority than minus 10. So this is how we can set values or remodify the nice values with the help of renice command and 20 represents as a very low priority or like from 1 to 20 if you take 20 is a very lowest priority and above 20 like 18 is more higher priority compared to 20 but always if you want to give more priority then better to give minus 1 or minus 5 or minus 19 as a value so nice command when we can use the nice command whenever you are launching and executing a command and you are going to tell that i want to have a priority as a minus 10 then only you can use the nice command you cannot use nice command for the existing processes which are already running with some nice value that you cannot change for the current or existing process you can use renice command for the existing process which are already executed a job and value is zero and then you want to change the nice value then we can use renice command so mostly all the process which are running then only we can able to change the existing value with the renice command with the nice command when you are starting a new command execution then only you can set nice value at that time so these are the some commands example for example this command ps iphone eo and these are like uh, columns whatever the columns we are expecting to display these are the columns we can tell so that if i give ni then the nice value also we can see of specific process and then i'll give minus 15 as a higher priority so that it will get more priority importance and it will get more cpu and ram and uh, renice iphone 15 iphone u and the username is this value 15 minus 15 will be assigned to all the processes which are running by the Navin user account. So now let's go and connect to the Ubuntu machine and we'll try this. So now what I'll do, I'll execute two sleep commands like for example sleep 400 in the background by using AND symbol and now again I'll use sleep 500 and AND symbol then it both will run in the background. Now, I want to set priority to any of this process. So, for that, first of all, I want to know what is the nice value for this 
process which are running in the background. So now for that, as I shown, let me execute this command. So now I am going to execute this command. So this command PSI Neo is a regular command, and I am giving these options to get the output of this information. So if I hit enter, if you see here, so process ID, user account, and uh, statistics, CPU memory. If you don't want, you can remove any of these options and this is a nice value so mostly nice value if you see these are the for some process it is showing minus 20 and uh, most of the process it's showing zero as i said it will equally treat each and every process so now if you see ps now the same command i'll execute i'll clear the screen and uh, same command i'll execute with the grep command grep i sleep so now if you see these many sleep processes are running and uh, if you see all this uh, nice value, this is called nice value which is a zero. Okay, so if you want to change the priority of this, for example, this one, then we can change it. Re nice minus 15 and the PID. What is the PID? Let's say 1946. So 1946 is the PID. Hit enter. And if you see for a process ID, old priority is 0, new priority is minus 15. If you want to cross check once again, just check with the same command once again. And you can see process minus 15 is a new nice value has been assigned to this specific process. So this is how you can change the priorities so that it will get more importance and it will get more resources. In real time, when we use these kind of scenarios, because for example, in real time, whenever the application is going, whenever the server reboots and after that everything completes, then application if we restart, if it doesn't get enough resources, then we want that that particular application, whatever we are starting, should get more priority so that it will get enough resources. Then we can give priority to that process so that that application will start first instead of allocating all the resources to some other process so first application will get more resources then the application will get started so that is the one of the real example we use this renice command to increase the priority of a process so this is about the nice and renice value and uh, always remember this can be done only by the super user Either root user or normal users should have a pseudo access. Bye for now. We'll meet in the next video.